Now we are starting with the stack. Now stack is a LIFO, last in first out. To make you understand what is a stack, first of all, let us suppose we are having few numbers. 7, 8, 6, 5. These are the numbers and by which we are going to take out the stack. Now before that, let us suppose that we are having few set of copies. Let us suppose this is a table. On this table, you are putting the first book. Then afterward, you are putting the second book. Then afterward, you are having the third book afterward and fourth book. So on the table, you are putting all the books, one, two, three, four. That means in this order, you are giving all the books. But when you have to take out the book, you will take the first book, which will be four. So four will be first out. Then afterward, three will be out. Then afterward, two will come out. Then afterward, one will come out. You can see that the order of putting the books and taking out the books is different because you will take out the top book first, right? So that means while putting the books or while inserting, you are following the order that is one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four is the order that you are taking while inserting and talking about while taking out the books or if I say while deleting your first book was the four. So four, three, two, one was your order while deleting. So this is the deleting order and this one is the inserting order. And these are exactly different. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that is reversed. Now you can see one important thing. The last book which was placed is coming first here. Here you can also see the last number or the book which we have placed is coming as the first one while taking out. That's why it is called as the LIFO. So stack is the LIFO data structure. That means we can say it is the last in first out. Now we are taking the example of the numbers. Let us suppose that we are having the number 7, 8, 6 and 5. And now we want to insert into the stack. So how it will work? So first of all, you understand that stack is like a bucket. And now in this bucket, we are going to enter the things. So here, first of all, we are focusing on the first number, which is the seven number. So now this seven number we are inserting. It is inserted. We should understand this thing that the first number inserted is seven. Then afterward, we are having the next number, which is inserted is eight. Now, next number we are inserting is six. The next number we are inserting is five. So in this bucket, we have inserted all the numbers and we know that the numbers which we are inserted is starting from the seven. So while insertion, the number we are going through was from here, the seven, eight, six and five. So this is the order of the insertion. That means we are inserting here. So I'm mentioning it is the insertion. Now the bucket is full. If I has to take out the number, the first number which I will take out from this bucket will be the 5. So 5 will first of all be the number which we are going to take out. So this 5 will be taken out. Then afterward, the next number which we are going to take out is 6. So 6 will be taken out. Then afterward, 8 will be taken out. And then 7 will be taken out. That means while deletion or taking out the number, we are having the reverse order. So this is the deletion. Well, understand one thing. It is not about the ascending or descending order. It is the order in which we are entering the number. Just like the 7865 is some order, we have entered the number into the stack. Now, whatever the last number which was entered is coming out first. Now here you can see that the first number which is coming out is 5. And 5 is the last number which was entered. That's why we say the stack is the 
LIFO. LIFO means last in first out. Regardless of any of the order, whatever we are going to enter inside the stack that is coming out means last will be coming the first. That's why it is called the LIFO structure. Let us suppose that we are having some kind of plates. I am taking one example, layman example to make you understand. Let us suppose that this is the plate in our kitchen. This is the first plate. Then we have taken the second plate. Then we have taken the third plate. Then we have the fourth plate. So these all plates are there. But when I has to pick out the plate, I will not take out the first plate. I will take the top plate. So this is the example of the stack. That means the plates which are there or the books which are present on the shelf, then we will take out the top book from that. So these all are the examples of the stack. And one more thing, here we are mentioning insertion. Insertion. In the stack, there is a technical term by which we say the insertion. This is called the push. So push is the technical term for the insertion into the stack. And if I talk about the deletion, so pop is the technical term. Whenever you are going to enter the elements inside the stack, it is called pushing. Whenever you are taking out the elements, it is called popping. And stack is the LIFO data structure. So here we have mentioned the diagram of the stack where we have mentioned it is the last in first out and 7, 8, 6, 5 are the elements which are inserted in the order and they are deleted in the reverse order. Now we are discussing the next concept which is the queue. To understand the queue, I am taking the example. Let us suppose that we are having a line. In, we are going to purchase some ticket from that. Let us suppose this is the ticket counter. You can assume that this is for the some movie. This is the ticket counter window. And there is the line which is available. Assuming that there is a person who is coming here inside that. Supposingly the name is A. Abhishek is coming here into the queue first. So all the people who are coming, they are coming from this direction. Now afterward, let us suppose there is a K. There is some person K who is coming. There is let us suppose person W who is coming here. Then P is coming. Then J is coming. So the persons who are coming here in, into that particular queue, you guys please assume that whenever you are going to watch some movie, you just maintain a queue. Queue means that you maintain a line. Inside that line, you are waiting for your turn. The first person who is coming here was A, afterward K, W, P and J. So these people are coming inside the line. Now, who will be getting the chance to go to the window first? Obviously, the person who is the first will go to the window first. As you are maintaining a line, so the person A with the name A will go to the window first. Afterward, the turn of K will come, then W will come, then P will come, then J will come. So that's why the queue is called the FIFO. First in, first out. We can say the queue is the FIFO first in first out see how the person a was coming first so this was the first person and that is going to the window so this is the window so that is coming here that's why the person who will come first will get the chance first this is called the fifo and the full form of fifo is first in first out so person who will come first will come first out now we are having, we are assuming this thing and relating with the queue. This example we are taking with, let us suppose some numbers which we have taken from the stack. So these are the numbers 7, 8, 6, 5 and we are maintaining a queue. So this is the queue which we are maintaining in which we can take out the four numbers. So four spaces we are taking here. Let us suppose that this is the way of insertion and this is the way of deletion so here we are mentioning it is the insertion means we are inserting from here 
and we are deleting from this side. So the first part is the insertion. If I has to insert a number seven, you can see that all the blanks are vacant. So seven will come here. Then eight, these blanks are vacant. So eight will come here. In the sequence they are going, you can see that six. So blanks are vacant, six will come here. Now again, the last number will come here. So now they are into the sequence. If I has to delete these numbers, then what will happen? While deleting the number, seven will be deleted first, then eight, then six, then five. So you can see that seven is the number who was entered first, means inserted first and deleted first also. So the sequence will remain same. Deletion sequence will also be 7865. So while insertion or while deletion, the number who was the first will be getting the first chance. So that is the FIFO, first in, first out. Now here we have learned two concepts. One is stack and one is queue. So I am giving you a few examples to differentiate between stack and queue. Let us suppose faculty has asked you to put the assignment on table. Now, this is the table of faculty and you are putting the assignment. Let us suppose that row number 17 has put the assignment first, then row number 20 has put the assignment, then afterward row number 11 has put the assignment, then afterward row number 10 has put the assignment. Now, whenever the faculty will come, then they will check the assignment. But first of all, you see what was the insertion order. The insertion order for the assignment was 17, 20, 11 and 10. But whenever faculty come and he will check the first assignment who is on the top. So the top assignment is 10. So while deletion, the top means 10 will be the first then afterward 11, then afterward 20 and the person who has put the assignment, the first 17, having the turn on the last. So such type of order are called the stack, LIFO. LIFO means the person who was the last into the sequence is given the first preference. So that is the example of stack. So all the plates in your kitchen, is example of stack. All the books who are placed into the shelf in your library is the example of stack. All the assignments on the table of faculty is, is the example of stack because the last or the top thing will be given the first priority. Or if I take out the example of Q, obviously, if I say that there is a line which is for maybe your medicine purchase, so let us suppose the first person who is coming was 10, maybe row number 10 is going first. Then afterward, row number 11 is going, row number 20 is going, row number 17 is going. So this is the order of insertion. So if I say what is the order of insertion, order of insertion is 10, 11, 20 and 17. So here they are inserted. Now. While deletion means the person who is in the first into the row that will given the first medicine. So while deleting the 10 will be given the first priority. So 10, 11, 20 and 17 similar order. So in the queue your insertion and deletion order are same. You can see that both the orders are same but while stack the order is reverse so here this order and this order are reverse so that is the difference between stack and queue so all the people who are uh, waiting for the row in a medicine or maybe the people who are waiting for the movie ticket in a line all are the examples of the queue